お前はもう死んでいる。何<笑> ?Son of a bitch! What just happened? A few moments later. <laughs> uh... It's okay. Better to be dying young than to never be dying at all. Ha! <laughs> this guy's toast. Don't, I, I think she realizes there's not enough time to make it to a boss again. Oh, especially... Oh, the trap room! Fireworks. This one is so difficult! Is this the one that just keeps generating secrets? Yeah, and yeah. it starts off with five, I think, at is, the beginning. I, I actually, is this one even beatable unless you're running, like, Triple Flare Hunter? I've never beaten it. Then again, I only ran into it once. Yeah, I've so. only ran into it once, and it just felt so, so strong. Zero percent win rate, both of us, so... Toast did get the, like, one of the very important cards, though, which is that wand, yeah. you know, Drawing one of his tools to actually win this matchup. One the of those is a counter spell, though, yeah, I yeah, guarantee yeah, yeah. you. Or a mana bind, even worse. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and then another one is a cat trick, and just everything that punishes you for a spell, it will be there. Ping there. Why isn't T pinging? Ah, uh, that's just GG. Uh, maybe he was playing around Dart around. Trap, I don't know. But you don't care if you get hit in the face with five, right? Yeah. Dude, I don't know. I think I imagine Toast has played way more dungeon runs than either of us combined. So that's why he's also holding the spell. I mean, he has to go for the Frostbolt now and hope that neither of those things stop spells. Yep. I think Trap Room is hands down the hardest one. And it's not even a boss 8, I think. It's a boss 7. Oh, so there's one more after this? I think? Yeah. This will give initiative back to Ali though, and she's... It'd be really fine on time if you could get back there. That was neither counter spell nor spell bender. Pretty lucky. Well, would have been rewarded had he gone earlier with the wand, though. Yeah. I guess oh, the thing is, the hero power generates free spell, uh, free secrets, right? Oh, that's true. So, so activating them when you don't have to isn't very like it's not worthwhile because it's just gonna get put back in play. Makes sense. So that, is that actually the way that you beat this? You just possibly. wait it out. Okay. Yeah, because the boss isn't doing anything. So the hand is entirely secrets, I suppose. Maybe Toast has got a way to win here. Yeah. This is uh, good research by him if he does, because he might just not play anything until Jaina comes out, and then that's the turn when he uh, decides to start doing stuff, because he'll have a full hand. Makes a lot of sense. He does have less than 10 minutes, though, so playing this game out, if he intends to do it this way, then the turns need to go a lot faster. Mm -hmm. No room for slow APM here. My hand is too full. Looks like he doesn't mind fatiguing either. Interesting. <laughs> oh, Look at him with the mouse. <laughs> you just, do you just fatigue the secret, dude? I oh, think that's really? what he's doing. Yeah. Because he's not even playing Jaina. Oh, look at him with the mouse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's up, Toast? <laughs> oh, so this, is this the secret to beating oh the trap room? I had no idea. So I guess it only has Secret Keeper and Ethereal Arcanist as minions. And then everything else is just secrets. My this no is crazy. Way. I had no idea. Oh, Toast is a genius. No, never, never knew. But this is how you beat him. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that APM, yeah, what a god. I think he'd really like to have a rubber band right now. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I guess a, a little bit of tidbit for those at home. Uh, last night here we hosted a bunch of people for a fireside gathering. Yeah. And as part of that fireside gathering, Ali and Toast were helping those like go through dungeon runs and helping them beat bosses. Uh -huh. And so this must be something that they figured out last night if he didn't already know, uh -huh. which is that you can just nil this boss because you've got so many more cards. Yeah, I never realized. So that's why you thought it was impossible. You just have to like think yeah. ahead, realize that all of his hand and deck is secrets. So. But you could see why he was so upset about facing the... Um, the cards that came down because if it was a counter spell then he yeah. would have never been able to kill it and it would have guaranteed a loss. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the fact that he was able to get rid of it meant that it goes to fatigue and toast wins. How this insane. This is incredible. <laughs>
He looks like he's about to fall asleep here, but <laughs> he's very well on the way to winning this thing. And with about five minutes remaining, I don't think he can beat the final boss, but I'm curious to see what he'll get. And Ali is two bosses behind. Yeah. She's got to play one more to equal her old best and then another beat yeah. another one to tie. Uh-huh. And there's just no way she gets there in time. Crax is only boss four or five, I think, so... You can see from the right of camera there, one of the refs oh. appointing the Vegemite. Uh, <laughs> just being a bit coy with it. <laughs> Ooh, all in one go. I Ali knows how it's the best it approach. Yeah. If you, like, don't know Vegemite, just, just like... Just want to get it yeah, over yeah, with. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to spend time focusing on that when you need to win as well. So incredible from Toast with a early loss, but picking it up with, I guess, a better draft and good knowledge of how to beat the trapped room. That is so troll, Blizzard, to put in a, a <laughs> boss that is pretty much impossible to beat with traditional Hearthstone. I wonder ways. if that was their intention, though. I think so, yeah. It makes a lot of sense. So Azari the Devourer is the card that you get off Rin, the Warlock Legendary, yes. once you've completed all the seals. So, so this is I'm the hoping it does version. something about burning cards. I don't know. Uh, it might be. There is one of the bosses that mills two cards, like, or like draws two cards or something every turn. And that one can be quite difficult to beat because you just end up milling way too quickly. And Ali actually wasn't able to defeat Crocs because, again, that boss punishes decks that have too much burn. So wouldn't be surprised if she just taps out here or starts trash-talking Toast is what I want to <laughs> see. So, yeah, that boss removes the top two cards from your opponent's okay. deck. And this was another one of the ones that's really difficult to beat because uh, often what you're relying on in this is the treasure or loot that you've picked up throughout the dungeon run to yeah. win. Mm -hmm. And this boss can just mill all of the good stuff out, leaving you with all the bad <laughs> stuff. So seeing Frostless Jane go there is really difficult, where if Toast had been able to do something like get it off this wand and then play it, he'd be in a really good spot. Yeah, and the fact that... Uh, Azari has it, just has so much health, it's difficult to beat it before you get fatigued. So it looks like Toast is going to get a taste of his own medicine here. <laughs> I wonder if the... If I am imagining the AI of Azari just kind of clicking his mouse as well without really <laughs> looking at the board. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is the reverse mill. Yeah. <laughs> so good. And I believe that boss's deck is really stacked with cards as well, so it's actually quite hard to mill it, like, yourself. Yeah. yeah, it just never runs out of cards. You have like, to you're always, kill you always it. end up with uh, less. If only he were playing Warrior or something, and uh, could shield some Wrath Guard. The good old days. So Ali's trying to catch up again quite valiantly, but Toast is now one ahead, right? With five minutes to go on the final boss. So yep. really this comes down to whether or not Toast can beat the final boss. And yeah. at this point, I'm not confident that he can. Yeah, it's not necessary anyway because he has beaten seven, whereas Ali's only beaten six. It is necessary. Absolutely. you got to win the final boss. Come oh, on. all right. Fine. <laughs> For the kicks, and he has less than five minutes to do it, so that would be truly incredible. Mm -hmm. And I will completely understand why Toast had almost 200 fans come out to meet him yesterday. Yeah. I think the cool thing about this display, though, is it shows that these PVE dungeons do have like a level of difficulty to them. Yeah. Uh, you know, even some of the best players can struggle to beat these things consistently because the different bosses line up against different decks really well. Yeah, I know I underestimated this long before I even knew what the full lineup of bosses is. But again, uh, if you guys haven't tried it yet, oh. this stuff is free to play. So. Go on and give it a try. Maybe do it with your friends as well and have a little bet. Maybe don't make it about Vegemite, but... <laughs> <laughs> All in good fun. The Malganus there is really strong. I wonder how many different poses we're going to see Toast's hair in <laughs> throughout these last three minutes or so. Oh, that's the fireball gone because yeah. he's still 40 life to go. It's precious just... burn. He does have double pyroblast though, so I don't know if Azari runs much healing, but... Uh, he still it... needs to run another 19 damage combined with enough turns for two pyroblasts. So your Lich King gets you death and decay every time. Or, or sorry, what's the thing that deals five and or heals five? Uh, Something coil, death, death coil, death, yeah. Death coil, yeah. Oh, that's not quite it, so... Which one's that one? Obliterate, I think. So you destroy oh, a minion, yeah. take damage, not Maybe useful. You can kill a dread trade, that's pretty cool.
Ooh. Yeah, I mean, Toast has got a lot of life himself, but I just think he's run out of cards to get there, and the mill's really going to start hurting. Yep. Oh no, Lightning Storm still leaves up Doom Guard and Trafficker, and if he's unlucky, the Watcher wins. Well. Okay, oh, almost gets Pukulele. So he's actual spell damage. He's got one of the uh, passives that gives you plus three spell oh, power, okay. which is one that I haven't really played around with. But out of all right. the classes that would be good with, Mage is the obvious one, yes. right? So it actually means that the Pyroblast deal uh, twenty six together. So. Yeah, yeah. So he just needs um, one more coil he from. The oh wait, wait, the flame, flame map is damage. Okay, okay. So it really is on the Lich King to get what you call it, the coil. Uh, oh, that's Ooh, at that's least six, six damage. damage yeah, yeah, yeah. So Toast he, is gonna get there. Yeah, no he way. over three turns. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Because I don't. Think I don't he'll... think he dies to fatigue. Oh, yeah, he's got yeah. two minutes though. No, yeah, no, no, no. You can do this, and you can do three turns in two minutes easy. Just chuck the big pyroblast, then second pyroblast and ping, and death and decay. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be epic. He's oh, wait, got wait. there. Whoa, whoa, how did that happen? Because the minion stayed up, so we got <laughs> okay, the 12 so... damage plus the 13 from the... Damn, yeah, yeah. and Toast just checking his phone, all wow. casual. Toast showing us how it's done, because those are yeah. honestly two of the hardest bosses in the whole run. Mm -hmm. The secret one, he's got the secret attack of just like yeah. letting it go, using that APM. Very apt. And then that final boss with the spell power and the double power blast burn was able to get there. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, very impressive show from Toast there. And he did it in style, gotta say. Just clicking the mouse like it's no big deal. <laughs>